guys welcome back to the channel welcome to the next build uh you can see here we've got a scale md 500 fuselage xl power 550 going in there we've got the uh, dji nasa h we are probably going to try out i'm thinking that this is what we're going to use it on we've got our scale cockpit and uh, we've got all the bits and pieces we need to finish this thing up inside here um we're gonna go with some kst servos gonna go with a savox motor so uh yeah probably not gonna do a how-to or a build series on this just gonna do some video updates but uh first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get that xl power machine out of the box we're gonna go ahead and get that thing put together and um get it ready for a maiden so Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here it is. We're back a few days later. Got the airframe fully assembled. Opted for the black boom. Included main blades. Uh, threw on some switch tails. Just finished the setup. Mounted the canopy. We're about to go do the maiden at the, uh, at the field here in town. And uh, once we prove out the mechanics, we'll be putting it in the uh, scale body. All right, give you guys a quick look here at the wiring. Got the motor disconnected for setup. That's a six cell Pulse 5000. All my servos opted for some KSTs that I had. And instead of using the included control horns, I bought these Seacraft ones. All aluminum. The balls thread in nicely and leave just enough threads to be flush with the nut. The plastic arms included did not do that. Got these uh, Fortune Model Products wire keepers. I like those a lot. And um, this is the wiring for for the fly barless receiver. Let me turn it around here. Excuse the mess on the bench. Yeah, I think it looks real good. Is that it? No way. That's better. I'm sure it'll fly with that. I mean, it's, it, it'll auto with a lot less, but it may feel a little squishy. And I don't know how well your controller will like it. I don't know, man. That sounds really good. <laughs> How does the cyclic feel? It's not bad. If you feel pretty good about it, why don't you do some slow forward flight with it? How fast do you think it'll go before the blade stops? I would just fly it around scale, see how it does. Let me get warmed up, John. Oh, I'm just saying, you know, just. Oh, dude, that sound is perfect. How much does that fuse weigh? I don't know. A couple pounds? Probably. But I, I, want, I meant to order that 13 tooth pinion. I never did. I need a bit of it. lean back on it. Put that in the controller.
you could fly around all day David. all right guys we're back it's been a couple couple weeks three weeks or so maybe a little longer i can't really remember since you saw the last section of the video we got some stuff that's a little bit different on the machine want to talk about it want to let you guys know where we are so um, probably the most recent change you guys are going to see i've got an icon 2 now I took the icon 1 off because uh, I couldn't do the forward programming with my new Jetty Duplex radio. So really excited to try that out. Maybe some videos about that in the future, I don't know. I got the Jetty receiver on there. One wire connection to the Icon and you can do all your programming down that wire. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, put a second power wire on there just you know for you know ease of mind and stuff. Um, I thought I was originally gonna go with some Savox servos I had, but I didn't know this kit only accepts mini servos. So went with the KSTs. Um, still rocking the Castle, the Talon 90, Savox 500 kV motor, cause I'm doing some low head speed stuff. Um, in the first video you saw of the, the maiden flight, we were running a 12 tooth pinion and I was running about, you know, 1200 RPM or so. And I really was a little bit uncomfortable going lower than that. But I got a 13 tooth pinion on now. Um, same motor setup. Copied the profile from the Icon 1 into the Icon 2. Double checked everything. It was the same. It flew fine. Got about four flights on it. Um, experimenting with a couple things here. So um, first off, it is possible to get some telemetry from the Talon 90 to the Icon displayed back to the Jetty Duplex <clears throat> radio system. But you've got to make up this, you know, special wire with a pull-up resistor. I didn't really like the way that looked. So um, I've got I've got something coming in the mail. It's supposed to be here Saturday. Uh, maybe do a follow-up video on it. It's uh, custom made. Made it myself. I'm going to try to make something plug and play. Uh, maybe, maybe sell them. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, the other thing is I've been investigating, um, the tail, uh, on the scale model and the tail on the real one. And it looks like the tail is on the wrong side. So, uh, the mechanics fly great. Everything's cool. It's just about getting comfortable with them, you know, and it's going in a scale body. So do you, how comfortable do you really need to be, you know? Um, thinking about flipping this guy over here, uh, trying it, trying it with it on the other side. Don't know. Just thinking about it. Um, we're going to see how it goes. You know, I got the scale body down here. It's waiting. It's ready. Um, so moving forward, you know, those some updates on the machine. That's what's going on. The next thing I've got to do is, uh, when I get ready to put it in the body, I got to get the tail case off. I got to get the skids off and I got to, I got to cut some shims, um, to shim the thing in the fuselage, get everything set up just the way we want it. And, uh, we'll go from there. Still thinking I'm going to do some lights also scale lighting on the fuselage, but you know, that'll be for a later video. Uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys are interested in this. If you are click subscribe and, um, See if you follow along with the build. If you got questions, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to uh, answer where I can. All right. Thanks.